What if I told you that there's an AI robot that could edit your videos for you? Would you believe me? Meet AutoCut, an AI-powered plugin with over 10 features that saves you hundreds of hours by automatically cutting silences, adding captions, and much more. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works and why it might just change the way you edit forever. Auto captions. We all know manually creating subtitles and captions take forever. Luckily, with auto captions, you can automatically add animated subtitles to your whole video in seconds. Simply click on auto captions and choose whether you want the captions to be on the whole entire timeline or from in and out points. Then click next. Choose the preferred audio language and open the captions editor. For customizations, you can click on one of the caption preset styles or to customize your own, you can change the font and the color of your text. You can also choose a variety of text animations like highlight with audio, floating text, and text with box. There's a lot more you can do in here with like transitions, formatting options like add glow. Next, click on the position and size. In here, you can change the font size and the width to get your captions looking perfect. Once you have created a style that you like, you can save it as a preset so you can save it for later. Next, click on add captions, review your transcript if need be, then click add captions. AutoCut captions will automatically start putting those captions into your timeline, saving you hours of editing. Auto silences. You ever edit a client's video or your own video and you have to deal with this? That could edit your videos for you. Would you believe me? That could edit your video. AutoCut automatically eliminates all silences in your videos by cutting and deleting. It can cut 60 minutes of footage in just 30 seconds, saving you so much time. Very nice. Go over and click on AutoCut silences and choose whether you want to have the silences cut out from the whole entire timeline or from the in and out points. Then click next. Adjust the noise level so anything under this level will be cut from your video. Change the duration if you don't want short silences to be cut out. Click right here and boom. The AI will go through your timeline and cut all the silences in your video. Auto zooms. Auto zoom automatically creates dynamic zooms using key moments from your audio and giving more energy and focus to your videos. All you have to do is head over to auto zoom. In our case, we want to add zooms to our whole entire sequence. So we're gonna click on entire timeline and then click validate section. Inside here, you'll see a zoom preview and anything inside this orange box is where the zoom will zoom into. In our case, we want to have our subject center. So we're gonna move our little box to our face. Down here, you can decide on how much zoom you want to have. Obviously, if you go to the right, the more zoomed in it will be. It'll pretty much zoom in to this perimeter. In our case, we're gonna have the max zoom level pretty high because we love the zooms. Zooms. That was so cringe. Next, to make it easier on you guys, you can use one of these default presets like calm, pace, energetic, or hyperactive. Why do I keep doing that? Pretty much to explain it, we're just gonna click on energetic for now. And then down here in the zoom styles, you can choose whether you want smooth zooms or dynamic zooms, smooth zooms like this, or dynamic zooms like this. If you just want smooth zooms, you can turn off the dynamic zooms and vice versa. In our case, we're gonna have both zooms to add a little bit more variety to our zooms. You want to have a lot of dynamic zooms, all you have to do is put this slider to the right and as you can see, there'll be less smooth zooms and vice versa. You guys can play around with the max zoom duration, indicating on pretty much how long your zooms are going to be. In our case, we're gonna leave them at five seconds. And next, we're just gonna click apply zoom. AutoCut will go through your whole entire timeline, scanning for the audio to find key moments where to put those zooms. And once it's done scanning, you'll see above all your layers are gonna be a bunch of these adjustment layers and each adjustment layer is going to be its own zoom. And just like that, you just created a hundred zooms in seconds, saving you guys so much time while editing. Auto repeat. If you're like me and has 20 takes for one line in a video like this. What if I told you, what if I told you, what, what would, what if I told you that the, what would, <sighs> AutoCut repeat transcribes your whole entire video and analyzes and detects repetitions in your audio. It helps you pick the best line so you don't have to go through and hear yourself saying the same line 20 times. All you have to do is highlight your audio and video and head over to auto repeat. In our case, we want to check this whole entire timeline. So we're just gonna click entire timeline and click validate section. Next, you just wanna select your audio language. And for algorithm, we want to have precise. Next, click generate transcript. And now AutoCut will go through your whole entire timeline looking for repeated sayings for you to delete. 
Once it's done analyzing, you'll pop up with this window. And for us, for the silence management, we want to remove all silences. Next, inside the edit transcript, you'll see all the transcripts that AutoCut analyzed. And as you can see with these first two, and then these two paired up, you'll see that this saying is the same as this one. Obviously messed up. All we have to do is if we want to delete this saying, all we have to do is click on this little scissor and it'll highlight in black. And same with this one, I started saying it and I messed up. So these two are the same repeated sayings, but we want to get rid of it. So all we have to do is just make sure that it's highlighted in black. Once you're done highlighting the ones that you don't want, all you have to do is click on cut sequence and AutoCut will go through your whole entire timeline, cutting out all those bad repeated sayings. Onto the next auto resize. Auto resize lets you take horizontal videos that you made for YouTube and instantly turn them into vertical content for social media like TikTok and Reels. And the best part is there's an AI that helps keep your subject always in frame. Let me show you how it works. We have a clip from my day in the life video that I posted on YouTube and I want to quickly turn this into vertical content. All we have to do is head over to auto resize. In our case, we want to turn this whole entire seven second clip into vertical content. So we'll click on the entire timeline then click validate section. From the presets, we obviously want to turn this into a TikTok short or reel. We're just going to make sure that this is click. And next, we just want to choose the speed that we're going to be following our subject. In our case, we want to make sure that we're tracked pretty, pretty good. So we're going to keep it on fast and then click resize sequence. And now AutoCode will go through your timeline, making sure that your subject is always centered in frame and turn it into quick vertical content. And now just like that, you just created vertical content from your horizontal content in seconds. Double the content. So cool. Auto B-roll. Auto B-roll analyzes your audio and automatically adds stock footage to your videos, making it so much more easy and quick to add video illustrations. If you wanna automatically add B-roll to your videos, all you have to do is head over to Auto B-roll. In our case, we want to add B-roll to our whole entire video and click validate sections. Next, you just wanna choose your language. Obviously we're in English. And next, you just want to choose the minimum and maximum durations of your B-rolls that you want to see. In our case, two seconds minimum and six seconds is pretty good. So we're just going to click next. And now AutoCode will go through your whole entire timeline, analyzing it and seeing what B-roll fits best. And boom, just like that, after it's done analyzing, you'll see each section pop up right here. You'll see what your voiceover says. For me, it says driving my car down to the beach. AutoCAD B-roll automatically adds a stock footage of a car. This one, I say something about being sunny out. This one is marketing, so there's money. If you want to customize the stock footage, all you have to do is just click on this little thing right here and it'll bring up your whole entire library of B-roll that you can choose from. You can choose the best one that you would like to see. Once you're done going through and making sure that it's the B-roll that you want, all you have to do is click on add B-rolls and AutoCut will automatically add them into your timeline. Saving you so much time from going online, trying to look for the best B-roll, downloading it, exporting it into Premiere Pro, and then putting in your timeline, cutting it up. Let's just say Auto B-roll saves you a lot of time with B-roll. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Auto Profanity. Auto Profanity scans your whole entire audio track looking for any bad words and instantly bleeps them out with any chosen sound that you like. No more saying cuss words. Shut up, bitch. Once you have your video that you want to cut out some of these bad words, all you have to do is head over to auto profanity filter. And then inside here, we want to scan this whole entire timeline. So we're going to click entire timeline and click validate section. Next, you just want to select your audio language. For us, obviously it's English. We're going to click go next step. And now AutoCut will go through your whole entire timeline scanning to see if we can find any bad words that you got to bleep out. And once it's done scanning, it will pop up the transcript of what you said inside your sequence and anything red is obviously a curse word that we need to bleep out i had some fun with this one for the bleep sound effect there is two bleep sound effects and or if you just want to mute it you can just mute it in our case we're going to use the bleep one if you want to add your own custom bleep all you have to do is click on manage and add sounds and then right here just click add new sound and import your own bleep once everything looks great in here we're just going to click on remove profanities and now AutoCut will go through and bleep all your cuss words out what the is going on youtube back at again with another video i just got done taking up that oh. auto viral auto viral scans your whole entire video and detects the best parts of your video that have the best viral potential so in our timeline we have my whole entire day in the life video and i want to see what parts could have the best viral potential for shorts and tiktoks so all we have to do is just go over to viral clips and then for us, we want to scan the whole entire timeline. So we're gonna click entire timeline and click validate sections. Next, we just wanna click on your audio language and click find viral clips. 
Now Autoco will go through your whole entire timeline, scanning it to see which parts of your video have the best potential to hit those numbers. And once AutoViral is done scanning it, you'll get all these different segments from your video that have the best viral potential. But I think it's really cool to see an AI that could take it and put it into segments like mindset and growth, taking chances from small town to LA dreams. If you don't like one of these clips, all you have to do is click this little unchecked box. But for us, we're gonna keep all of these and we're gonna turn these into shorts now. Next, we're just gonna click on generate viral clips. And now Autica will turn these into vertical format videos. And you instantly just got five pieces of content to post on social media in seconds. AutoCut is really cool because it tells you that it took seven seconds and it just saved you over nine minutes of editing. Very nice. Auto Chapters. Auto Chapters is a really cool feature that automatically adds chapters to your videos, helping you stay organized. And the coolest feature is that you can export these chapters so you can import them onto your YouTube video description and helping you save time so you don't have to manually add chapters to your descriptions every time on your YouTube videos. All we have to do is head over to Auto Chapter, click on entire timeline and click validate section. Next, just click on your audio language, click generate chapters. Now AutoCut will go through your whole entire timeline, cutting up your video into chapters. And once it's done, you'll see that you have multiple chapters over here. And it's just really cool to think that like an AI knows exactly what the introduction to my life is, the segment of my morning routine, work and productivity. You know, I didn't feed it any information. It just knew it. That's pretty dope. And of course you can edit the time codes to make it very, very precise. But for us, this all looks great. And then down here on the marker colors, you can just choose what color of the marker that you want to have. If you want to add this to your YouTube description, all you have to do is click on export chapters for YouTube and then import it into your YouTube description. For us, we're going to add chapters to our video to stay organized. And then right here, we're going to click on add chapters. And once it's done loading, it'll just automatically start adding these chapters in. Like, that's crazy. What? Well, that's a great shot. Auto podcast is probably the craziest one in this list. Anyone who edits podcasts knows the struggle of cutting multiple layers. Well, let auto podcast do all of it for you. All you have to do is assign the speakers to the video and audio tracks and set the duration of how fast the cuts will be. And boom, auto cut will go through your whole entire timeline, cutting and making sure whoever is speaking will always be on frame saving you hours and hours of time editing. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want to see more crazy AI softwares or just editing tutorials in general, make sure you guys just drop a like and subscribe down below. And on that note, I think I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Boom.